Hey guys, I'm Juan Pobert here, and yeah, I just wanted to do it more personal, I guess, because I got some issues with my camera. So let me know if you, you have too many issues about the fact that the quality, I guess, is lower. Uh, if you do, let me know in the comments below. But in the meantime, let's get to today's topic. So, so yeah, this video is another one in the series of what do you need to do or what kind of uh, qualities you need to have in order to be successful entrepreneurs. In the other videos, we talked about some of the things, so check them out. This is the uh, second or third one in the series, so definitely go check the others. Today, we're going to continue. If you're new to this channel, my name is Moan, where I'm buying businesses for a living, and I'm here to show you that you can buy businesses um, pretty much going to cost you the same amount of money and time as it is to start one from scratch, and I'm also here to show you that you can basically grow your existing business by acquisitions. And this is what this channel is all about. Subscribe, see the description below if you want to join our free business buying mastermind. And also you have a link below to help me with ideas for videos. So uh, that's for that if you're new to the channel. Otherwise, let's, let's continue with the topic. So I think after being around so many entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs, multimillionaires, almost billionaires, I think one of the biggest things that I learned uh, from them is the fact that they don't run away from challenges. There are challenges all the time. And, and literally this is what happened to me right now. Like I have this new camera and for some reason it's doing so many issues to me. Uh, but I was like, I, I don't care. I committed to create a few videos today. Like I have this um, ritual where I create seven videos in one day it's basically taking half of my day i'm creating seven videos and it's like I'm, I'm putting it out there no matter what this is what i do and it's like i'm sure other people would just give up and say hey okay i already recorded three or four videos so hey let's let's give it up and, and do it somewhere else but for me it's like no there's no way i'll give it up i i committed to these numbers of video i committed to upload one video a day and that's what I'm going to do and I'm expecting those challenges it's just because this is new to me I'm not used to you do those videos I'm not used to to go out there and put myself my face out there and talk to to a camera and talk to you to you guys um, but you know it's like yes it's frustrating it's annoying and maybe my younger self would literally give up and would be like okay fuck it I already made a few videos that's good enough and it's not good enough guys if you have a commitment and you have a goal and you literally gave yourself the word that you're going to do something you got to commit with it uh, no matter what like literally there's no way if you're going to give yourself give yourself once there's no reason that you won't give yourself in the bigger goals in the biggest actions and that's why literally the way you do one thing is the way you do everything and it's one of the biggest things that i saw in one some of the most successful people that i hang around with around with and I hope you can appreciate it with, with this video. Maybe the quality is going to be lower, but I hope it's going to be maybe more personal when I talk like this close to the camera. And I'm really, I'm really talking to my heart with, um, I, I literally have a frustration right now from the fact that the camera isn't working. But I was, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll put it out there anyway and I'll do my best. And, and I mean, if it won't work, I mean, it won't work. At least I, I took action. I progressed and I'm learning from that. And maybe the next step for me would be to just hire a videographer to be here next to me and all he is going to do is literally click the record button and, and that's all. Um, at this stage, I just, I just don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary to hire someone from for three hours uh, just to be here and click the button. And I'm also, I guess I'll, I'll feel less comfortable talking so much about this topic when I just have someone in the corner doing nothing. Um, I don't know, tell me what you think. You know, at some point I might hire a videographer like Gary Vee is doing, where he's just following around um, him for meetings and stuff like that. I might do that maybe for flights and, and deals that we close and think it could be cool. But otherwise, I don't know. I, I don't think that I'm did it at this stage yet that I want to at least do that. Maybe when I'll have more subscribers and more followers, I do it. Um, but yeah, either way, tell me what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And you know, it's so important. It's like, it's like imagining taking a boat and you taking the boat and complaining that you have winds basically you have winds taking you away all the time and you're complaining i have the wind i have a wind and you literally stop moving the boat you stop doing anything and you're just letting the wind taking you away and the successful person what he's doing is basically understanding that there is a wind while the person is complaining just sitting around letting the boat take him to the rocks and, and kill himself and obviously this is different here but we're not trying to kill ourselves or anything like that but you're basically killing your dreams and killing your goals and that's why you need to understand that challenges are there issues will will be no matter what guys i mean life life is it's a bit annoying sometimes i mean you have so many challenges and frustrations but that's part of life and you gotta be really logic about things and understand hey what's the right thing for me to do is it to give up right now or not and you gotta 
um, stop letting your emotion, I guess, affect you so much. And, and the more you do that, the better. I mean, I'm at the stage that I'm still working on that. When I just first started in different businesses, I was so emotional. Like I, I shut down seven figure businesses because I, I was emotional. I was like, fuck this shit, I don't want to deal with it. Um, and looking backwards, I'm, I'm not sure that was the right action, but I mean, that's eventually what led me to this space. So I'm, I'm not regretting it. At the same time, I know that moving forward, I got to be more logic. And that's what I highly suggest you to do. Uh, just be more logic with your actions. Ask yourself, what's the right thing to do? And just go and do that. Or ask yourself, hey, if I had a, a gun pointed to my head, what's the right thing to do? What's the right action for me to take? And just take it no matter how you feel. Like, fuck your feeling, guys. Feelings uh, are good to, to avoid from from uh, I guess dangerous stuff but for other stuff for especially logic stuff like business it's not good for your business is very logic a to z steps and you gotta look at numbers you gotta look process and you gotta take a logic decisions it's not emotional decision it's not relationships that you need to deal with here that is I guess is more emotional it's very very logic and unless you look at life that way look at business that way it's going to be really hard like I see people who try to get into this space of buying businesses and they complain, I can't find uh, motivated sellers, I can't find the right ways to get them, I can't find financing, I don't know how to value if a deal is a good deal. All are good questions, but they're letting their emotion affect them too much instead of trying to go out there and, and find strategies to make them successful at that. And you know, I think another thing that really differentiates those who are successful, those who are not, oh, sorry, is the fact that those who, who don't really make it they always think that they need to learn another thing they always stop to think too much and those who are really successful they literally implement immediately like i remember um spending a lot of time with uh, one of my mentors called mirza he's almost a billionaire and he's in, in his early 30s and i remember looking at him and he's implementing stuff like insane like a crazy man he got an idea and immediately is implementing those stuff he's calling the people that he need to to move he's talking to that person he's making sure that something is being done and trust me i think based on what my experience so far in life those who are ahead of me in life the only reason is that they're they're ahead of me in life is that they failed more than me period i think that's the, the literally the only reason obviously they failed they adjusted they failed they adjusted they found a mentor they found accountability they found a better system but they failed more and more and more and more and got feedback that's one of the most important thing and another thing i think that's really really important is the fact that successful people are there to serve others. You think that successful people are greedy or they're bad people. I think it's the opposite. The most successful people that I met, they're doing things not for themselves, they're doing things to help others. And that's literally, I'm at a stage that I'm grateful to say that this is what moving me towards in life. I'm waking up every day thinking, how can I help the regular person own a multi-million dollar business? This is literally what motivated me. I'm thinking, how can I help the regular person who have a regular job own a multi-million dollar business even if you never ran a business before, if you never started a business before and I know it's doable and I'm here to literally give it to the world and share it with everyone. I think it's a life changer. I think I have a goal to help at least 100. I have the goal of helping thousands of people owning multi-million dollar businesses and ideally I'll have equity in each of those businesses. That's my ideal vision. That's my goal. And I know that the more I'll help people, the more equity I'll have in those businesses because I'm helping them learn in the process while doing the process with them. So it's win-win for everyone. And I just know that helping someone who have a day-to-day -day job to own a multi-million dollar business while someone else is running that business for us as partners, I mean, it's a life-changing thing, guys. I mean, most of you guys, all you need is one good deal to change your life. All you need is one good multi-million dollar business that you have someone else running for you. You can take salaries from that income, from that business, you can take dividends, you can take, I mean, obviously if you sell the business, you have an amazing capital event and exit, and that's all you need. And I'm, I'm literally, I, I believe that that's my purpose, helping many, as many people as possible own a multi-million dollar business and get into that stage without needing to start a business from scratch and leaving that startup lottery um, path, in my opinion. So. 
yeah, that's that's literally what I'm waking up for at this stage. And that's what I see in most of the most successful people that I've met. They have something, a motivation that is behind just themselves. Um, it's either helping their close members, their, their family, their loved ones. And those who are at higher levels, um, they're out there to help as many people as possible. Like if you see people like Tony Robbins, you can see, like if you see his documentary in, in Netflix, I mean, you can literally feel that person is out there to help as many people as possible. And that's what wakes him up. It's not about him needing more money. It's not about that a lot. It's about how can I change someone's life and really help them and get fulfillment from that at the same time. And obviously, the more I'm able to help others, the more I'm able to grow myself. So I think you really need to find your why that is behind just yourself. And, you know, really try to think about your goals also. You need to be really focused. Other than a big why, you need to have... So the successful people that I've met, they have a specific goal and they try to think, what's the fastest way I can go there? And from A to Z, how can I get there the faster? And, and you need to understand, if you try to own a successful business, go there at the fastest way possible. And in my opinion, the fastest way to do that isn't to go and get one client after another, but it is to go and buy existing business. I don't care what business you're trying to start, it's really, really hard to get it to a point where you're making seven figures in sales. You can spend that time that usually take years to get you if you're starting from scratch and many, many just won't make it. Those are the stats, right? Most starts are fails. You can go and learn the skill set of buying a business, existing business, profitable, successful, and just do that instead. I mean, obviously it depends on your goal. If you want to change the world with a specific technology, then yeah, maybe you need to start a business from scratch. You need to go and raise capital from venture capital firms and stuff like that and have people who understand about technology. But if you care about having the lifestyle and the income that you want um, and you care less about, I guess, the industry, although you can go and find industry that you're passionate about, but you need to really think with yourself, what's my goal? Do I want a good income and good lifestyle or do I want to change the world with a specific technology? And most people that I met who want to become business owners, they want a good income and they want a good lifestyle. And if that's the case, in my opinion, based on someone who's been involved in many businesses and started a few businesses as well, the fastest way to get there is to buy existing business. And like I said, you can buy that business using the business assets. You can leverage financial institutions to buy those businesses. Um, that's what I do. That's what I think you should do. And that's what I'm here with this channel to help you with. So that's it for today, guys. Remember, focus on taking action, on failing, on learning lessons, on um, having a bigger why that is just behind yourself behind money if money is all that driven drives you it's not enough in my opinion and don't be afraid from challenges guys it's part of the process um, it's kind of like the road to master you need to understand eventually when you start something new you always have this spike but then there's a, a dip you got to go through and only those who are committed will go up again and then you'll grow steadily again and again and again and obviously you'll have more challenges in the way but it's part of the process you need to learn to enjoy it and I'm here to help you. If you decide to go into the space of buying businesses, I'm here to share with you whatever I can. And yeah, comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know. I hope you're not sad about this uh, way of, of video, maybe lower quality, but I think it's more intimate. I'm, I'm really, I, I, I was really frustrated initially that I couldn't record uh, the video as I wanted. Um, but I think it's maybe going to give you a different angle of mine, maybe make it more, more personal. I don't know. Tell me what you think. I'm here to serve. I'm here to help you. And I'm here to to document my journey as I try to do this. So let me know what do you think and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Hey guys, Moan Pobear here and thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below, help me grow the channel because the more you help me grow the channel, the more deals I'll be able to do and the more I'll be able to give you more value. So please, if you didn't yet, like the video right now, subscribe right now and comment below on this video. Let me know your thoughts. And also check in the description below this video. There's a text description where you can have a link to a free business buying mastermind group that we have on Facebook. Join it right now if you're not in it yet. There are amazing people in there, people who are looking or doing deals on a regular basis and you can be part of this conversation. So go to the description right now. Also, I'm looking to create daily videos on the topics of buying and growing businesses and I need your help on having ideas for more topics. So in the description below, you also see a link for a survey where you give me your biggest question. You just fill in, fill in your personal details and I'll create a personalized video for you based on your specific question. So help me with that. Put your details below in the survey and give me ideas for videos. Do it right now after you join the Facebook group.
And if you like this type of content or just in general looking to accelerate your growth and buy businesses faster and you want to take things to the next level, if you want to see if you're a fit to our partner program and basically have access to a team that did more than 300 deals, it's mainly me and my partner, Carl Ellen, and we have a main CFO who was involved in many, many deals. So if you want access to that and you want us to be your partners, if you want access to us 24 seven, I mean access to me in my Skype, my personal email, my phone number if needed, and you want us to show you A to Z how to buy and grow businesses and how to grow by acquisitions and not just show you what to do, but also be there with you and help you close deals as your partners. We want to do more deals and we can help you do that. You'll learn everything from how to position yourself as a legit buyer, even if you have no experience, and how to use our track record as your dream team and position yourself as a legit buyer in front of business owners and brokers. How to then find motivated sellers because everyone can find business owners and tell them that you want to buy their business, but most of them are not motivated to sell their business and we will show you how to find motivated sellers. We'll show you how to talk to those business owners, how to negotiate deals with them, how to get the financials from them and how to use our team to do all the calculations and make sure that the deal is a good deal. Because yes, you can buy a business, but what if it's a shitty business and you don't know how to calculate the right ratios? You don't want to be screwed in this space. You'll then see how to get financing on your, those deals. And not only that, we will open our our contacts and the access to all the financial institutions that we know. We will show you how to get accountants and lawyers on success fees. And obviously we have our team to do that. So you won't need to even find them. And we'll then of course show you how to grow those businesses and how to make sure we have someone operating the day to day for us. Because unless you want to run businesses day to day because you're passionate about it, we highly suggest you not to do that. We can find someone to run the day to day for us while we in charge of the vision and setting goals for that manager. Not only that we're going to open our doors to all the financial institutions that you need, we are also going to put our personal capital into deals in our group of partners, in our shark tank. We're going to create some kind of a shark tank where we're going to look at deals that you want to buy and we potentially going to invest our own capital, basically going to put some equity kick into those deals. So many times, you know, you can buy a million dollar business, but you're missing 50 grand here, 100,000 here. And we are able to put our personal capital just because we believe in those deals. Those are our, the best deals out there. Investing in small businesses is, is the best thing an investor can do. And we will put the capital into some of those deals as well. So if you need help with that, you can apply to the program. If you never bought a business before, or if you have an existing business and you want to grow it by acquisitions and go and buy other complementary businesses. This is for people who understand that they need to invest in themselves in order to get to a point where they can buy a million dollar business. And it's also for, for people who understand that every day that go by and you're not buying another million dollar business and you're not owning another million dollar business, it's costing you million dollar. So if you're trying to learn about this space for one month or two months or one year or two years, every month that go by and you didn't buy a business cost you another $1 million. So don't hustle anymore to get another client for your business. Let's hustle together to buy a million dollar business as partners. And don't get me wrong, you can definitely try and do it on your own just by watching my free videos. Some of the info I have here, I literally paid multiple six figures to learn. But the partner program is for people who want to accelerate their growth, who want to have access to people and contacts and doors that they wouldn't have otherwise. This is for people who want to cut their learning curve in years. That is for people who are committed to take decisions right now and get results right now. So if you don't want to wait, go to moranpober.com forward slash talk and me or one of my team members will talk to you to see if it's a fit. The worst case is that you'll get a better clarity on your next steps in the space of buying businesses and will give you all the advice that you want. The best case is that you'll have access to a team that did more than 300 deals who will buy with you as your partners, your first or first, second or as many businesses as you want with you as soon as possible. So if you want, go right now to moranpober.com forward slash talk and I'll talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and the other videos on this channel like subscribe comment help me grow the channel help me buy more businesses so i can help you buy yours as well hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon